Hello viewers, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to present document management system re new release. In this release, we have added some uh, new important feature. Uh, first one is uh, add digital so digital signature. So you can add uh, a digital signature in each document. So we have added the digital signature feature document wise. So this is the login screen. And if we log in into the system, let me just log in so we have just successfully logged in into the system then uh, this is the dashboard and uh, if we go to the log uh, documents then we can have a list of uh, test document here so you can search the date range wise and also uh, the randomly search uh, into the search box so our mission in this video um, is uh, to present uh, digital signature how we can add the digital signature every doc wise so if you just click the document details and go to the file details and just we uh, we have added one file and here is the add signature if I just click into the add signature uh, then we can add the signature like uh, using the mouse or not. if you have a digital paint then you can add signature here I'm just adding my mouse so some uh, random signature and you can add the comments test data if you just click the save then it will save into the database and you can see already i added some test uh, signature and here is the 13. you can view the signature i already uh, add the uh, signature and also the download the signature Okay, so uh, if I um, just uh, let me create uh, the fresh one, I'm just going to create a new document, uh, a test document, test documents, and let's say the document category is confidential. I'm just going to add multiple files. So here is the um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven different type of files jpg doc file and image file so if i going to save it then it will uh, save into database so document has been created successfully and uh, stored uh, all the information into the system uh, document in storing into the folder application folder so if we go to the file details then we can have uh, like listed files uh, seven different files you can view uh, all the files uh, this is the png uh, image file also you can view pdf and microsoft doc file uh, here is the microsoft document file if i click the view then definitely you can able to see the documents file view uh, we are just uh, write some function using that function we just uh, <coughs> reading the doc file so back to the uh, main uh, application feature. Uh, so what we have implemented in this release, um, uh, added a digital signature into the document. So you can add the signature every document or document wise. If I click, if you click the add signature, then you have a new screen. Also, you can uh, add, um, you can add using the mouse also the digital pane. Also, if you want to uh, upload your already uh, image or PNG file signature from your uh, local machine, you can upload uh, with the drag and drop. So you can, let me just add uh, some test data here. In the test signature, you can add like a drag and drop. Also, if I click the second and uh, test comments save so document uh, uh, digital signature has, has been added successfully and you can view the document signature and also the download maybe some issue here uh, I will check if I go to the uh, signature list and click the download Okay, I'll check. Uh, I'll fix uh, uh, this JavaScript issue after this uh, after completing this video. 
so you can add uh, digital signature uh, every doc wise and uh, main feature of this application you can add one document and under that document you can add multiple documents and with a different uh, extension and different doc types so you can add image file doc file pdf file and microsoft excel file any files and you have a download option view options and also you can search uh, which is a pretty important feature you can search uh, uh, in our doc content so let's say if i go to the um, let's say random one documents advanced sp.net core web starter kit and if you go to the file details uh, this is the pdf file and i'm just uh, viewing the pdf file i will uh, pick one inner content from this uh, document web starter kit copy And document deep search it will just you have to paste the string and find uh, <clears throat> so we can uh, find the result and if we uh, reset it and also let me just uh, open one text file view object reset object see so you can uh, search the uh, document uh, uh, under the document with a string by matching every document so we have implemented this feature in this uh, application so um, uh, the summary of this application you can add uh, one document and then with categories and uh, <clears throat> and also you can view the files directory with the folder names also you can add the category document status also you can add the document tag also if you want you can add the document comments and uh, you can assign this document to the current application user so this is the basic uh, overall summary of this application and another one important uh, one more important feature is you can share the document over email address so we already implemented a gmail smtp i already configured and uh, this is the uh, seven more file if we go to the second one just a doc file and as i mentioned you can view the document uh, directory here is the document uh, root directory under that directory uh, there is a uh, doc file and zero byte take dot doc x this is the folder name and under that folder this is the doc and you can share the doc over email address if i select my email address uh, let's say uh, I don't have uh, active email address here. You can type email address Shahid BD, Shahid uh, BD dev at the gmail.com. And this is the <coughs> uh, SMTP configure email. If I click the send, it will send uh, this uh, document file as an attachment with this email body. Send. So, system is sending the SMTP email by attaching this uh, document file. And I will show you uh, the document uh, uh, email. With, I will show you the document what I what I have received so uh, sorry I, I need to configure the gmail uh, smtp properly so I just configured the gmail smtp with a uh, gmail app password uh, I'm uh, let me just try again for uh, by clicking the share and we have just one document uh, uh, doc file if we go to the share tab and uh, this is uh, the sender email gmail smtp you can uh, select other email if you say configure the properly so i configure dev ml bd so i'm just selecting uh, this one and i'm just typing my uh, testing email address uh, dev ml bd at the red gmail .com. so receiver sender and receiver email is the same you can uh, select different one because I'm testing. So email sent successfully document name zero. But if I go to my uh, testing email address, see 
document management system uh, with the email body and the documents. So I just received my uh, document uh, from the application successfully. So this is uh, the core feature of this application. And uh, in this uh, release, we just added uh, important one of the important feature like uh, document uh, digital signature and added uh, the um, sending user registration verification code new feature and refactor the smtp gmail settings and also another uh, important things refactor the user management so uh, if you just get this application then you can uh, test uh, in the live so you have to go to the document tab and also you can click the document details or also click the edit then you can go to the file details uh, file list and uh, by clicking the add signature you can add signature successfully uh, just adding using the digital pane or mouse you can add the signature and also you can add the comments uh, test data safe so signature added successfully you can view the signature also the download as well uh, and download have some issue i will fix after this video and uh, save so summary is uh, you can add document and under that one single document you can add multiple files and every files you can add uh, uh, files while multiple signature and also you can delete up, uh, view and uh, download that signature as well also uh, the adding signature option is uh, dynamic you can add uh, let's say uh, using digital pen also you can uh, add signature by drag and drop let me show you so you can just drag and drop your signature so this is the main uh, feature in this release uh, what i'm uh, presenting so thank you for watching if you are if you want to test this uh, feature live just you have to go to this link i will share the details uh, uh, demo link into the, into the video description uh, let me just share with you mm, give me a few seconds so i'm just finding the live url So if you want to check it uh, live so if you have to go to this url and i just already deploy into my into my live server if i log in into uh demo user you can check uh, yeah, the new feature which is uh, adding the do document digital signature you have to go to the document details and file details and uh, every file wise you can add the signature so signature also you can view and download uh, the document signature and if you want if you interested to get this application you can get enter source code this is the project source code uh, with the detailed documentation we have built this application using sp.net uh, .net 8.0 and we have used entity framework core code first approach and in the database you can use multiple database like uh, ms sql server postgresql and mysql as well and let me share with you the purchase link if you're interested to like this application you can purchase this application using this uh, link from port canyon and after purchase you are going to get uh, maybe some issue let me add the actual link Sorry. So, if you are interested to like uh, purchase this application, you, go, you can go to this uh, code canyon. I will share this link. After purchase, you will get uh, this item. Let me share with you. Uh, like complete source code, complete database code. First approach, you don't you don't need to worry about the database script, drop down data, uh, database table and database name. So this is the code first project. If you run the project, uh, application will uh, first generate the database, then it will create the table and it will uh, then later it will uh, generate the, all the dummy data and complete project documentation, ERD diagram, architectural diagram, video tutorials, free tech support, so this is the download link of this application and this is the live demo and this is the local demo 
So in this video, I just try to present the how you can add the digital signature. So you we just implemented a digital signature every file wise using ASP.NET MVC, and in the front end we have used jQuery and JavaScript. So thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video and. Uh, Hopefully, you will get complete uh, latest source code from the code candy if you are interested. Uh, you have to purchase from the code candy. Thank you.